And then, of course, Eric Clapton. Yeah. Now, how did, I mean, obviously you've known each other. How did I get to meet him? No, 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 but how did, right, how did you meet him? No, how did you decide? We shared the same wife. <laughs> That's a good beginning. <laughs> George Harrison first met Eric Clapton when the Yardbirds supported the Beatles, and, a few years later, they became inseparable. The pair were kindred spirits, with Harrison even penning a song as a tribute to his close friend. Perhaps the greatest reflection of the bond between the two is the fact that Harrison even brought Clapton into the Fab Four's inner circle in a bid to smooth the inner band tension. It was a period fraught with bitterness, a time when Harrison was close to quitting the group and needed as much moral support as possible. Slowhand famously worked with the Beatles on Here Comes the Sun and While My Guitar Gently Weeps, which helped get the best out of him. In fact, I was with the Yardbirds when I first met George and he, we were on the, the Beatles Christmas show. And uh, we hit it off and I love him very much. He's a great guy. Kind of a bit like an elder brother, you know. When George finally decided to pull the trigger and briefly depart the Beatles, it was even mooted by the rest of the band that Clapton should be his replacement. However, he'd swiftly returned to the fold before they even had time to approach him. The White Album was a turning point for Harrison as a songwriter. As John Lennon later admitted, there was an embarrassing period when George's songs weren't that good and nobody wanted to say anything. Meanwhile, Paul McCartney agreed, and he said, I thought until this album that George's songs weren't that good. Like, I find that I have more in common with people that have survived the 60s and the 70s. You know, we've got the same sort of attitude, you know, and every one of us really, like Elton and the Stones and George and all of the guys really, that much more mellow now. In a separate interview, Harrison elaborated on the reasoning for penning the track and explained, so, as a tribute, I wrote, you'll have to have them all pulled out after the Savoy truffle. The truffle was some kind of sweet, just like all the rest. Cream tangerine, ginger sling, just candy, to tease Eric. Admittedly, the light-hearted effort wasn't Harrison's finest moment, but it's hard not to raise a smile when listening to the exuberant Savoy truffle. The guitarist writing it as an excuse to poke fun as friend Eric Clapton. <laughs>